Hello everyone, Brian here. In my third video um, on the Adis Rs, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, ceramic architectural model kits. Still working here on the uh, San Pedro de la Nave, uh, the Spanish church, and I thought what I would do this evening is give you a little sense of the tools I'm using and then show you exactly what it's like to lay courses of these bricks so you get a sense of what it's like to build it. So in, in working with these little ceramic tiles, um, I mentioned before there's a lot of sanding involved here. And so what I'm using is in part these round and uh, actually multi-shaped metal files, round, semi-flat, curved. I've got six or seven of them. Here is a, a flat one. Um, and then the thing I'm using mostly is these uh, kind of flexible hobby um, file sanding uh, strips. And this is really, I mean, this is exactly uh, what you see sold in CVS or other places to, um, uh, to file nails with uh, the exact same things in, in multiple grits. Um, so I'm using those and um, a pair of tweezers. Uh, I happen to have small hands, so it's easy to work with these things, but if somebody has more normal size hands, you may find that it's easier to place the bricks with uh, with a pair of self-closing tweezers is handy because they hold on to them until you release the grip. Um, and then, of course, white glue is used to put it all together. So we've got a huge bag of tiles um, that this comes with just a big plastic bag with tons of these little ceramic tiles and they come in multiple sizes so uh, you've got a standard size and on the kits it notes what the size is for any given kit for the average brick and probably 70 percent of what's in there is that average size um, but you also get a bunch of smaller pieces so here's uh, a shorter one and there are also longer ones in there and so that you know you, you always have to do some sanding but having the smaller and the longer ones helps you out you'll notice here uh, if you take a look at the model what you're doing just just like if you're doing brickwork or anything on a house um, the seams don't line up, so you're, you're always making sure the seams vary with each other. And that means you're going, you know, sometimes when you're working up here, you've got a tile that comes all the way out. Sometimes you're trying to land it right on the edge here, and then you're having to sand it down so you can put another one on this side that comes out. Um, so you're just staggering all the courses. And uh, you see here next to the window, I've got a little, a little short piece. This was a shorter piece here, and then the regular size pieces. And then occasionally you get longer pieces you can use um, uh, to sort of bridge between things and make sure things line up okay. So I noted before that I'm I'm a little I'm going for a a more finished look. I don't want something that's really rustic looking. Um, and so what I do first is I uh, I I test place them all to kind of figure out the way they're going to work together. I noted that the edges. Um, are curved in a lot of cases, or they're, they're on a slight angle. And so sometimes you have to roll the bricks around until you find the, uh, the, the best way for the, the front and the sides to come together with the least amount of gap. So for that one, it's probably like that. That one angles nicely there. And then you see here, this one comes, you want it to stick out just very slightly if it's going to, because when you put one on this side, um, I see there, this is out just a little bit more than it needs to be, and so I'm gonna need to sand that together uh, when I get to the edge there. So once I've got them all kind of rotated around the way I like, and I, I like the, the look and the feel of them, sometimes you're also lining them up to get you know, they're, they're colored a little bit here, but not so much here, and you might decide you want a certain look, and so placing them helps with that. So then, once you've got those, and I line them up right below the model, um, when I opened up the white glue, I cut it, oh, where's the focus? 
I cut it on a double angle there. And that is so that I can put it right down in the corner here and just put some glue on like that. And then I can begin putting the tiles on. And I just, I slide them into place, kind of squashing the glue up and getting them as close to the surface as I can. And so you're always going to end up with a little bit of glue squashing out. Uh, even if I'm really careful placing the glue, and I tend not to be, you're always going to get some that squashes up some. So what I do here is if you let that glue dry, the next course of bricks are going to pop out a little bit, and you don't want that to happen. So I've got here a piece of paper towel. Um, and, and furthermore, you know, so then you have to cut it off with a knife if that happens. And, and that's tough because, the, you know, the glue sets pretty hard and, and you risk damaging um, the cardboard, you risk chipping the bricks. And then even if you try and sand it, it becomes like rubber and it's hard to deal with. And so I found the best thing to do is just to get rid of this glue and wipe it on the paper towel, get rid of it, make sure everything is nice and flat and even so you don't have to worry about that. And on the side here, we've got a little coming out. We want to get rid of that because we're going to want to sand right there and get everything nice and level. So you see over here on the side, um, I've got a, this is going to be on an angle. There's going to be wood slats that come out here just like there is over here. And so I'm going to want those sanded nice and flat and going up to the wood. So I, I use some extra pieces here where it's, where I just need to fill in a tiny little gap. And you see that, that nothing there is even. Well, once I'm done with that work on this side, I'm going to come in and I'm going to start sanding this down till it's nice and flat with the roof. And when I'm done, it's going to look just like this side over there. So I just keep sanding it down until it's nice and even like that. Um, I laid this course last night. Uh, so over here, it's hard to even see, but I'm sticking out just the slightest little bit over here. And so what I tend to do after a few minutes after the glue set is I just come in and I sand that down nicely so it's nice and level. And in a few minutes, when the glue is set just a little bit better here, maybe just a minute or two. Actually, I could probably do it right now. Let's see. Yep, no problem. Now, I tend to hold the brick right in place, just in case the glue is not quite set. I might not want to, uh, uh, to risk it moving. And here I'm using the flat file to make sure I'm getting right down to the edge of that and sanding it nice and flush with the edge of the building there. And then I'll take a extra brick and I'll see if that's going to land me where I want to land. Yeah, a little bit more. That should be good. Yep, that'll glue in there nicely, and with just a little bit of sanding, even if it's popping out slightly, I'll be able to take that down. Now, I'm a bit fastidious about this. I don't like dust everywhere, and so I've got a vacuum right next to me. And I can go ahead and vacuum that up, and I'm ready to place the next row of tiles right there. And so you just keep working back and forth and back and forth around the model. Um, I'm going to get up to this level here. Then I'm going to build this up, and that'll take some sanding the tiles, you know, probably on the desk with a, with a file here until they're, they're nice and level with the lines up here, but angled for the roof. And I'll go up until I hit this point, and then I can bring bricks across the top here and line them up, which is what I was concerned about doing over here, making sure that... Uh, I hit the right level there with that so that this goes straight across and, and meets nicely there. So that is, in summary, the process of laying the bricks. It's a very meditative and repetitive process. There are thousands of bricks on, on hundreds of bricks on this model and probably thousands of bricks on some of the larger sets. And so you've got to be um, uh, slow and methodical with it.
So that's all for now. Next time, maybe I'll talk a little bit about the roofs and how you prevent uh, seams from showing here. Uh, but for now, that's all. Thanks so much.